In this video, we will learn about the working interface of Spark AR Studio. Open Spark AR Studio that you have installed. For the first time, you need to log in with your Facebook account. The Getting Started interface appears. You can take a look at some of the example projects provided by Spark AR Studio to quickly start a project with built-in functionality. Click on any project, you will see some instructions for getting started quickly. You can see the instructions with a blue box, your job is to read and follow the instructions. However, we will temporarily skip existing templates to start a new project. This will help you easily understand the interface components of Spark AR Studio. Let's come back to the Getting Started screen, click Create New Project. This is the main interface of Spark AR Studio. You can see it has many different parts. We will take a look each part now. First, the viewport. This is the middle section of the Spark AR Studio interface. You can see and work with the effect you're building here. You can change the view mode. For example, you can see the front view or the top view. I usually set the default to see the bird's eye view. Next, with filters, you should leave the defaults. At the top of the viewport are the manipulators. Use them to quickly change your objects. Position. To choose where your object is placed within your scene. Rotation. To rotate your object. Scale. To make your object appear bigger or smaller. Coordinate axis. Use local or global axis. Use this button to change the pivot or center pivot. Next part is simulator. The simulator represents a device screen. Use it to preview how your effect will look, including with different compression settings. For example, you can change the device to an iPhone SE with a small screen or devices with a larger screen like an iPad. I encourage you to use the iPhone 8 device to preview it because I realize that it fits screens from iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus and Ifinex. This button will help you switch between front and rear camera. And this button will help you rotate the screen from vertical to horizontal or vice versa. The Scene Panel Adding objects to the scene panel on the left of the interface will add them to your effect. Click Add Object to add an object. You'll see a list of all the different objects included in Spark AR Studio. For example, I want to create a mask in Spark AR Studio. I will add a face tracker object to detect faces. Then I will add the face mesh object to create the mask. The Assets panel. This is where you can add your own assets to a project or create assets in Spark AR Studio. You can add an object to the project from your computer, then select the object to add. Or add an object from AR Library. Spark AR Libre offers a lot of free assets that you can use for your projects such as textures, materials, 3D models, animations and audio files. For example, if you want to add a new 3D object to the Spark AR Studio, you just need to find the appropriate 3D object. Then click the Import Free button. Wait for the download to finish. And you will be able to use this 3D model in your project. The Inspector Use the Inspector to make all kinds of changes assets and objects. You'll need to select the asset or object in the Scene Panel or Assets panel first. Then use the Inspector to Change Objects Properties Transfer mentions like Position, Scale, Rotation Enable for Front Camera or Rear Camera Add Object Materials Or Create Interaction with this object. For example, Select the skin material in the Assets panel. Then edit this material from the inspector. You can change the color of this material like that. You can also make your face smoother by using retouching in the Shader Types drop-down box. That nice! The Toolbar The Toolbar is along the left of the interface. This tool is configure your workspace, for example to show or hide the patch editor. Remember this, because we will use it a lot of time. Change the video playing in the viewport. Choose your video you like and see your effect. Pause or start the video.
reset the video, search. You can type anything you want to search. This button helps you preview the effect. You can connect to the Spark AR Player mobile app to test or use via the Facebook and Instagram applications. This tool is used to export your effects to upload to Spark AR Hub. And this tool is AR Library. This tool is familiar to you.